all bunnies in the Sunday time. Occupation is the party working five to nine. I've been hyped since pink stripes on double breasted zoo And I'm cuckoo, drink you who eat couscous and moon soup. Cut, cut. Okay, lunch. Lunch, nice. Lady better have my goat cheese. Yeah, move my Pilates session to three. Hope they got some pork chops up in this piece. Stupid, so stupid. At the disco tech with my girl. You know how this go bet. This drunk bumps in dust and spills some beer. Then the punk starts to cuss, grab my girl's rear. Come here. The crowd jeers and gathers for a fight. He was in the wrong and I was in the right corner. Like Muhammad Ali. Then I just walked away like Mahatma Gandhi. Do you want some beat with a crew who turns a cheek? You want a brawl? A fist to your chin? Well, we don't jaw. Nice to meet you. You win. Sit in. At an intersection, this punk says, Get out your car, I'm getting in. He didn't have a gun, he didn't have a knife. He didn't stand a chance if we got in a fight. I was like, what's up? You can't take my rod, fool. Unless you take my license and my credit card, too. I could have got mad, but I breathed and let it pass. Because I just got Martin Luther King on that ass. Who do you want to mix with a crew? Who's pacifist? We're badass wusses. Cause wusses are badass. You step up, we step down, and run away mad fast. Pass the mic quick, cause I'm sick and spastic. I'm the kind of guy who likes to get his ass kicked. And when I say kicked, I mean kicked real good. I'm saying, kick my own ass if I could. Huh? Ask anyone on the street you pass. If they know me, they'll say, yeah, I kicked his ass. My perfect day starts with a meal of chicken. Then a five-hour session of severe ass kicking. Do you want to rumble with a crew who will say uncle? Of course you do. We're badass wusses. Look at us hard, we push ourselves in the bushes. Yo. Yo, let's go not beat somebody up. Word. Yo, yo, let's go return a can of whoop ass. Unopened. Yeah. Word. Al, show one me more time. Hand. One more time. Do it one more time. One more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> one more time, one more time, buddy. <laughs> one more time, I'm gonna kick your ass. And I'm saying, if you hit me again, one more time, you're dead. Alphabetical. Okay, one more time. <laughs> College. It's an integral part of the road to adulthood. If you're watching this video, then it means that you have made an active choice to seek out higher education and were rejected. But if you think community college is your only alternative, then consider the University of College. Hi, I'm Guy Reardon, Dean of Students here at the University of College. To give you a better chance of getting in, we've simplified our application process. Congratulations, you've been accepted. All you have to do is sign the application, which is a check for $12,000. It's just that simple. Want to check out your new school? And come on. Let's go. U of College was founded in 1822 by Jimmy Winthrop after he was rejected by every school in America on the basis that he was illiterate and violent. So Jimmy decided to start a college that he could get into. People always wonder why we spell college with a D. Well, Jimmy was quite stubborn, which explains his infamous quote. I think I know how to spell college, pal. It also explains our mascot, the extra D. Class sizes are kept small here at the University of College because attendance is not mandatory for students or teachers. If someone does decide to show up, we teach a progressive curriculum based entirely on student suggestions and episodes of The Simpsons. Finally, we believe you should work at your own pace. So whenever you feel you're finished, page us and we'll fax you your diploma. So again, congratulations. And welcome. The University of College. I think we know how to spell college, pal. Tongue further over to the side. And action. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> My eyes keeps twitching.
boss so I can roll down the street. Tired of picking up them biddies on my tired ass feet. So where do I go? What do I do today? I got more options than a Sunday breakfast buffet. I stop at the courts and then I find my fellas. They all out of sorts, acting all sorts of jealous. Yeah, we like to car, but we starting to wonder. Who's that? Oh, him? That's my driving instructor. So come on, all my homies. Hop in my ride and drive a little while with me. I got four doors, three gears, two steering wheels, and one teacher in the passenger seat. Hell no! We ain't got room for that. This is a lesson. Put on your thinking cap. Let's stop a pressing. Hands on the ten and two. Check in the rear view. Keep space between the car and you. Follow? Yeah, I do. I spot a girly on the corner looking fine. Make a stop at the light and I'm taking my time to wave her over. And ask what's her name. When this dude with the clipboard starts salting my game, he says, Son, the light is green. We got to go. I say, this girl is biting and I got to say no. But before I get the chance to even get on my groove, he starts pushing the pedals and we start to move. Come on, little lady, hop in my ride and drive a little while with me. I got four doors, three gears, two steering wheels, and one teacher in the passenger seat. Hell no, this ain't a toy, can be dangerous. It ain't for a boy or an ignoramus. Hands on the ten and two, check in the rear view. Keep space between the car and you, you follow? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why's he freaking? I finally got transportation, and he's screaming like I'm eating at an Islamic nation. Then it dawns on me, my driving ain't the trouble. He don't like singles, he only wants a double. I see two girls. He's on the corner waiting for the bus. I look at him and say, sir, this is us. He lends and out of the prospects and steps on the gas. I knew the lesson was over and we both were past. Come is. on, little ladies, hop in our ride and drive a little while with us. We got four doors, three gears, two steering wheels, and it sure beats riding the bus. Hell yeah, pull over here, throw on a fat beat. What do you say? We all get in the backseat. Yeah, yeah. Call the DMV, tell them we gon' be late. You learned a lesson, now it's time we celebrate. Come on, little ladies, hop in our ride and drive a little while with us. We got four doors, three gears, two steering wheels, and it sure beats riding the bus. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. Come on, ride with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, I got some crazy stuff, man. Straight from Colombia. Straight from Colombia, man. Buy it, open it, take them beans, grind them up, then take a sip from your cup. From your cup. Let the aroma circulate. It smells so great, it's time to percolate. I like my coffee with sugar and cream while my double grande latte is getting retained. Hey, ese, hit me with the double espresso. Don't like it with a whole lot of milk on leste. Make it real nice and foamy for the homie. Sugar will equal, you got the sweet and low me. Sing my song, stay up all night long as I take sips from the strong. Coffee! Can I get a sip? Sips from the strong. Sips from the strong. Strong. Coffee! DJ Coffee Mugs, y'all. Let's brew that java, go put on down, and less is hotter than molten lava. Chug it, yeah, chug it, we all says. I love you, Juan Valdez. Gracias. <laughs> Tastes so good to me. I run tight, super crazy fast, but I'm am dumb caffeine, sugar, sweet, boom, sugar, coffee, crazy, crazy. Yo, 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 man, 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 yo,
Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't? No, he did, but I'm just saying. But you just said he didn't. I know, but he actually did. I just said that because I couldn't believe he did. Oh. Oh, no, she didn't. Are you sure? I think she did. Yes, she did, but I'm saying, like, oh, no, she didn't. You know what I'm saying? Wait, you think she did and she didn't? That's impossible. Girl, how many times I got to tell you I'm saying, oh, no, she didn't because I can't believe she did. You don't believe she did? No. Well, she did. I know. So why don't you believe her? I do believe her that she did. I just don't believe she did, OK? OK. But is she? Listen, I know she did, OK? So in effect, I'm in disbelief at the fact that she did. So I go, oh, no, she didn't. You get it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> now let me watch my show, girl. And now it's time to find out which one of these three guys did it. Was it guy number one? Oh, no, he didn't. He did? No, he didn't. But you said when you say he did, that means he actually did. Girl, I got to explain it to you again? No, I get it. You're not saying, oh, no, he didn't because you're in disbelief. You're saying it because you don't believe he did. When you say, oh, no, he didn't, you're saying you don't believe he did. But when you say, oh, no, he didn't, you're saying you don't believe he did. Do you have any clue what you just said? No. This is Bob from Trent, New Jersey, and this sketch rocks. Oh, no, he did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he be feeling it. Who is that? Oh, it's Bob. Well, where did he come from? New Jersey. New Jersey! Let's do this, Steven. It's up to you. I got ready, and then in the distance, a man with a camera. Wait, I can't miss this. Hey, who's this guy holding up our game? Oh, that's my dad again. He's so lame. He thinks he's in, but he's out of the loop. It's just fun to watch JV Hoops. The freshness is you, lean and green. The freshness is you? What does that mean? Next thing you know, he's gonna say fat. Gather round, team. I brought fat Kit Kat. Oh, please. Ralph, end of pain. Or I'm gonna kill myself. That's the game. Your dad's cool. Thanks, Nate. Party at our house to celebrate. My dad isn't cool, but he thinks he is. His intentions are good, but he's all up in my biz. He pulls up his socks and wears a stupid hat. How was I to know that my dad was all that? How did your dad learn to DJ? I have no idea. What did he say? Super cool, Steven. Your friends rock. Your dad's like fresh. Oh, please, stop. Look at his socks. But he can dance. Yeah, but look at his socks and look at his pants. My girl was in trance. She was gone. Look at your dad with that beer bong. Come on, everybody. Bongo time. Your dad can rip it. Conga line. Popular kids that don't know I'm alive proceed to all give my dad a high five. We party down to the bone. This is like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Everybody left my house and it was all cool because hopefully they'll forget tomorrow at school. My dad wasn't cool, but now he is. He stole all my friends and made them his. He pulls up his socks and bought a Kango hat. How was I to know that my dad was all that? Okay, I got to school and I was shocked. Hey, yo, how do you like my new tube socks? Everybody copped his steez. My dad set a trend with socks to the knees. People started saying, The freshness is you. No, the freshness is you. Oh, what do I do? Humiliated, I went straight home. My dad was sitting there on the phone. He said, Sup, Jared, six o'clock, we straight? This is my dad, yo, he's 48. Later, a car pulls into the drive, and all my people are inside the ride. I yell, what's up, and out I came running. Yo, Steven. Your dad coming. My dad runs out and he joins my friends and yells, Tell mom I'll be home by 10. My dad wasn't cool, but now he is. He stole all my friends and made them his. He pulls up his socks and wears a Kango hat. How was I to know that my dad was all that?
Hello, I'm Bruce Blyden. Welcome to View to View. Today's topic, explicit lyrics in rap music. To debate this issue, on my right, Senator Richard Adler from Maryland, and on my left, Senator Tom Helmsley from Georgia. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, Senator Adler, you believe the lyrics in rap are making kids kill each other. Explain. Yes, Bruce. Uh, the rap is causing our kids to go, for lack of a better word, bonkers. Now, Senator, you disagree? Oh, Mr. Adler, you, for lack of a better word, have your head up your ass. You cannot blame the rap music for causing the kids' problems. That's insane. As Senator Helmsley, I should punch you in the mouth. Rap music, if nothing else, promotes aggressive tendencies. When they listen to the lyrics of their favorite song, these kids commit crimes as they sing along. Hey, nice rhyme. Uh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't mean No, 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 it was cool. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Senator Helmsley, <clears throat> rebuttal? Uh, yes. Yes, it's, it's not the rap music that's really bad. It's the state of our nation that is pitif... Pitifad. <laughs> nice try. Yo, check it. You need to go back to school to learn to debate. Your argument is tired and your points is late. Damn! Oh, my argument is tired, son, you must be tripping. Every point you make, I'm turning and flipping. Now you know I got this debate unlocked. Squeezing out pops like shots from a Glock. You need to take stop, peep the knowledge I drop. The problem is us, not hip-hop. Woo, he crapped on you, kid. Point made and checkmate. Everyone stay tuned to this heated debate. Oh, kid, no, you didn't. A personal attack? You fronting on my skills, but well, you're just plain whack. As a matter of fact, you need to step Back while I kick the knowledge you so clearly lack. You're like Jack Spratt, all lean and no fat. And that's P-H-A-T, if you didn't know that. Oh, I know, but here's something that you just do not. Should have looked in the mirror before you left your spot. Cause that ugly ass tie and your shirt don't match. Look like that clown doctor, was it Adam? Yeah, Patch. Oh. No points on the reference, that movie blue. I'm Bruce Blyden and this has been View to View. Yo, I smack you, back slap you, come in your house and attack you. Your wife is too ugly, so instead I'll mac you. From that day forward, you'll be my prison, bitch. Boy, go outside and Digging the ditch, cause I won, son, you're done, son. You're like a Cinnabon, hun. I just ate your ass up like I was big pun. Rest in peace. I'm afraid that brings us to the end of our show. Let's thank both our guests. Can I say something? No. Okay. So what have we learned from tonight's debate? I think we can all agree it's rap music we hate. So thank you for watching our fantastic fight. We bid you farewell and have a good night. <clears throat> say word. Knowledge is dropped and I love hip hop. Yo, check it out. The knowledge I drop is stocked like a Glock when it goes pop pop. Whoa! Oh, Holy <laughs> <laughs> And I love hip hop. <laughs> hey, dudes. From the producers of Girls Gone Wild comes the new sensation Girls Gone Mild. We've got a full four hours of girls doing not all that much. These girls are totally under control, and they don't care who knows it. Every co-ed is of legal drinking age, but doesn't like the taste of alcohol. You guys having a good time at spring break? I guess. Want to do something crazy for the camera? No. To order Girls Gone Mild, call the number on your screen and ask for Fred Darsky at extension 32. If you get my voicemail, just leave your credit card info and address. Call now because supplies are limited until I fix my other VCR. <laughs> There you go, pal. Hey, thanks. Not a problem. Never could have summoned the strength. It's my job. You got change for a dollar? Huh? I'm just playing. Here's a dollar and a dollar. Yeah, I'm saying it's the bathroom. I said it and I'm proud in the bathroom. Where there's always a crowd in the bathroom. The scene behind the scene is the VIP room and I'm keeping it clean. Why so blue, boy? I'm at the end of my wits. I just met this chick with some huge ass. Two tips. A dollar. Thanks. You got a toothpick? Come on, be my cupid. A dollar. Let's do this. First, a few spritz of my favorite fragrance. Some mouthwash will keep you from smelling like a vagrant. A little bit of this and a dab of that. That's a dollar, dollar, dollar. Wow, I look fat. In the bathroom, where I like to take over. In the bathroom, you can get a mate over. In the bathroom, it's the scene behind Too much tequila. And then I pinched the wrong Jaime. My boyfriend's after me. What should I do? Well, it's an oldie but goodie. It's called the switcheroo. Take the jacket and the cap. That's a dollar and a dollar. I ain't paying for that. 
Then I'ma holla, holla. Okay, show me. Everything's a buck. Even this? Yup, perfect timing, cause I got to take a piss. Hey, you seen this drunk punk who pinched my girlfriend, Kim? Uh, no. Wait a second, ain't you him? Hey, I need a Jimmy hat. She gave me the sign. A dollar? Thanks, Curtis. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I like this role reversal thing. It's the most fun. I can't believe I'm still here. That was a close one. Now you got to hang.